All right, and now, 58 seconds or less, a passage from this book, 2012, The Return of Quetzalcoatl. William Irwin Thompson says, If a person is open to a new world view, it can often mean that he is not firmly rooted in the reality of the old world view. As a lunatic or alienated artist, his own neurotic traits can become magnified as they tremble with the new energy pouring in from the universal source. Ha! She's gonna make faces, alright? So, uh, what are you going to do, boss? <laughs> I got a cold, but, uh, you know, I'm going gonna, gonna to do the long face. <laughs> That's not quite it. <laughs> oh, man. We went way. We went way over budget. <laughs> it's freaking great. <laughs> mm -hmm. You best leave that little boy alone. Or you gonna go to Hades. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Be some of them Prince Rod Titers. Mm -hmm. I reckon they're pretty good with mustard sauce. That's my favorite thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just think it's a wonderful character. So, yeah, my hair's short. My hair's short. See that? Short hair. That's good focus. I like that. You can almost not tell what it is. There's a whole movie going on in that little dot right there. That dot. Yeah. The one that's gone right there went. It's back. It's like a mouse. It's like a mouse eating the dot. Go. Mmm, ooh, that's tasty. Oh, yeah. You want the dot? Oh, too bad. It's my dot. I want to see the dot. There it is. Ooh, baby. That was a tasty dot, man. Dot. Swing low, sweet chariot. Come and go to carry me home, home, home. Hey, baby. Oh, look at my dot. I'm the 99%. I'm the 99%. I'm just kidding. That's wonderful. 
I want to read on. It's a good book. I'm reading it again for the second time. Again for the second time. So it's actually the third time. <laughs>